Coach Joey here from Bodies by Kaladi in Kingston, New York. Today we're diving into a topic that's going to change the game for you. How to overcome those pesky fitness frustrations that we all face. And guess what? We're taking inspiration from none other than the lovable Ted Lasso. Now, if you haven't watched Ted Lasso, first of all, you're missing out on some serious feel-good TV. But don't worry, I'll fill you in on one of the golden nuggets we're borrowing today. In the show, Ted tells one of his players to be a goldfish after a mistake. Why? Because goldfish have the shortest memory in the animal kingdom, just 10 seconds. So what does this have to do with fitness? Everything, my friend, everything. Let's start by talking about those frustrations we all face. You know the ones I'm talking about, plateaus. You've been working hard, but the scale won't budge. Slow progress. You're not seeing results as quickly as you'd like. Comparison trap. You're constantly comparing yourself to others at the gym or on social media. Motivation dips. Some days you just can't find the energy to work out. Setbacks. Injuries or life events that interrupt your fitness routine. Sound familiar? I bet they do. We've all been there. And let me tell you, these frustrations can really mess with your head if you let them. But that's where our goldfish mentality comes in. When Ted Lasso tells his player to be a goldfish, he's essentially saying, don't dwell on your mistakes, move on quickly. And that, my friends, is the secret sauce to overcoming fitness frustrations. Let's break it down and see how we can apply this goldfish mentality to each of these common frustrations. Ah, the dreaded plateau. You've been crushing your workouts, eating right, and suddenly, nothing. The scale won't move. Your measurements aren't changing. It's frustrating, right? But here's where we channel our inner goldfish. Instead of obsessing over the lack of visible progress, forget about it after 10 seconds. Seriously, acknowledge it, then let it go. Why? Because plateaus are a normal part of any fitness journey. Your body is adapting and that's a good thing. Instead of dwelling on the plateau, focus on how you feel. Are you stronger? Do you have more energy? Is your mood better? These are all signs of progress that scale can't measure. Be a goldfish, forget the plateau and keep swimming. We live in a world of instant gratification. So when our fitness results don't come as quickly as an Amazon Prime delivery, it's easy to get frustrated. But remember, real lasting changes takes time. When you find yourself getting impatient, be a goldfish. Forget about the end goal for a moment and focus on the day-to-day -day wins. Did you show up for your workout today? That's a win. Did you choose a healthy meal over fast food? Another win. These small victories add up over time by focusing on these daily wins rather than obsessing over slow progress, you'll find yourself enjoying the journey much more. And guess what? When you enjoy the process, you're more likely to stick with it, which leads to better results in the long run. Oh, this is a big one. In the age of social media, it's so easy to fall into the comparison trap. You see someone with your dream body on Instagram and suddenly feel like all your hard work means nothing. But here's the thing, comparison is the thief of joy 
And it's also completely pointless because you're comparing your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. This is where being a goldfish is crucial. When you catch yourself comparing, stop. Take a deep breath and then forget about it. Seriously, let it go like a goldfish would. Instead, try this. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Are you making progress towards your own goals? That's what matters. Remember, fitness is a personal journey. Your path is unique to you, and that's what makes it beautiful. So next time you feel the urge to compare, be a goldfish and swim in your own lane. We all have those days when the last thing we want to do is work out. The couch looks so inviting, Netflix is calling your name, and your motivation has left the building. It happens to everyone, even fitness coaches like me. This is where the goldfish mentality can be a game changer. Instead of beating yourself up for not feeling motivated, acknowledge it and then forget about it. Motivation is fleeting, but discipline is what gets results. Try this, commit to just five minutes. Tell yourself you'll work out for just five minutes, and if you still don't feel like it after that, you can stop. More often than not, once you start, you'll want to keep going. And even if you do only five minutes, that's still five minutes more than you would have done Otherwise, win. Remember, you don't have to feel motivated to take action. Sometimes action comes first and motivation follows. Be a goldfish. Forget about your lack of motivation and start moving. Life happens. Injuries occur. Work gets busy. Family obligations pop up. These setbacks can derail your fitness routine if you let them. But guess what? You're a goldfish now, and goldfish don't dwell on setbacks. When you face a setback, rather it's an injury that sidelines you for a few weeks or a busy period at work that throws off your gym schedule, acknowledge it, then like a goldfish, forget about it and focus on what you can do. Can't run because of a sprained ankle? Focus on upper body strength training or try some seated cardio. Too busy to hit the gym? How about a quick home workout or even taking the stairs instead of the elevator at work? The key is to adapt and keep moving forward. Don't let a setback turn into a complete stop. Be a goldfish, forget about what you can't do and focus on what you can. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, but Julie, isn't it important to learn from our mistakes? How can we improve if we just forget everything? Great question. Being a goldfish doesn't mean you don't learn and grow. It means you don't let setbacks, mistakes, or frustrations hold you back. You acknowledge them, learn from them quickly, and then move on without dwelling on them. Think of it this way, a goldfish doesn't forget how to swim. It just doesn't remember the last time it bumped into a side of the bowl. In the same way, you should remember the lessons you've learned, but forget the negative. Emotions associated with the experience. This mindset shift can be incredibly liberating Instead of carrying around the weight of every setback or frustration, you're free to focus on the present moment and the actions you can take right now to move closer to your goals. So how can you start implementing this goldfish mentality in your fitness journey? Here are a few practical tips. When you catch yourself dwelling on a frustration, take a deep breath and consciously choose to let it go. Focus on the process, not just the outcome. Celebrate the daily wins, no matter how small. 
Write down one thing you're grateful for in your fitness journey each day. This helps shift your focus to the positives. Replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Instead of, I'm so slow, try, I'm getting stronger every day. This gives you more opportunities to succeed and build confidence. Surround yourself with support. Join a fitness class or find a workout buddy who can encourage you and help you maintain perspective. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. There will always be ups and downs, but it's how you handle those downs that determines your success. By adopting this goldfish mentality, you're giving yourself the freedom to move past frustrations quickly and keep pushing towards your goals. So the next time you face a fitness frustration, whether it's a plateau, a setback, or a moment of self-doubt, I want you to pause and ask yourself, what would a goldfish do? Then take a deep breath, let it go, and keep swimming. You've got this, and I believe in you. Your fitness journey is unique and beautiful, just like you are. Embrace it, challenges and all, and remember, be a goldfish. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear from you. What fitness frustrations have you faced and how do you think this goldfish mentality can help you overcome them? Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fitness tips and inspiration. Remember, at Bodies by Claudie, we're here to support you every step of the way on your fitness journey. Make sure you watch this video on how to lose weight even if you are going through menopause. Until next time, keep swimming, stay positive, and most importantly, be a goldfish. This is Coach Julie signing off. See you in the next video. Make sure to watch this video.